All right, here's a new product from uh, Gator Boards again. I got the uh, mold release. This is a mold release that I make. It's a little mixture that I put together, and it works really, really well. I like it. Um, you know, whenever I make something, you know, I, I play with it. I, you know, until I find something that really works good. And once it works, I get, I, I get kind of excited. But anyhow, this is, um, this is, a, this is the re a mold release, and uh, you got to shake it up when you get it. So before, when you use it, you just uh, before you use it, just shake it up, and it'll shake. It shakes nice, and it mixes up really good. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how to make um, one of the pocket molds, and I'm going to show you how to apply the mold release. So let's just go over the this real quick. This is this is a pocket mold that I sell, where you can buy this pocket. It's clear. You can see. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. But it, it's a pocket mold. It's a, you can make a obstacle, a little fingerboard obstacle with this guy. And um, and you can buy it by itself. And I have five different ones, and this is just one of them. Or you can buy it with a cement, which I call it a kit, because uh, with this cement you can make it, make your little obstacle. Okay. And I, I put enough in there for the biggest obstacle, so you might be able to pour two of these with one bag. I don't know. And the bag is 11 ounces, and you mix six tablespoons of water with one bag. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and do this. So you get your you get your mold, okay? You get get a paper towel, get a pa or I get a paper towel. You can get a, uh, a rag or something if you want, but I, I usually just use a paper towel because just I just throw it away after I'm done. So you get the you get your release, shake it up, and you don't need a lot. You just you open the end like that and kind of just squirt a little bit in there, kind of like that, okay? Squirt it in there, and then you take your little napkin and just rub it in kind of like uh, just like rubbing uh, polish on uh, on something like your car or something so you just take it and actually I think I might have put a little too much in there you don't it uh, you know it doesn't take a lot you just gotta make sure it rubs on there okay and you don't want any uh, extra a lot of extra you just wanna there you know what I got a little extra and I, I brought an extra one because I'm gonna test and see how much cement I put in that bag see if it works so anyways, we're going to get the extra out of there. That's the best thing. Get the extra out of there. Rub it on the other one. Get the extra out. Just make sure it's just on there. Okay? Kind of like that. There. That looks good. That looks good. Just like that. See? It, it's just rubbed on. So you just want to rub it on like a clear coat of it. And then the rest of it is on the napkin. Okay, set it up in your little cups. Remember the cups? Cups are a great idea. And then uh, take it and uh, here's another one. And just rub it into this one. And I would say I need a little more. This time I won't put that much in there. I'll just put a little drop. In. But, uh, and it's green, of course, because, you know, Gator. Everything I make that's uh, from Gator, hopefully, is going to be kind of green. <laughs> you know, because they Gator boards, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, so, anyways, you rub it down, get it all nice and make sure you get it all over. You don't want that mistake. And and, then, and if you do get cement on the side, remember, you can go back to the old way. Um, take denature alcohol and, and clean it up when you pop the cement out. But uh, with this stuff, you're not going to need to do that too much. Okay? Because this stuff uh, works awesome. Okay, so, anyways, I'll take a cup. This is just a regular sized cup. And I already poured six tablespoons of water in here. So I'm going to, this is the easiest way to do it too. Pour your water in first. Okay? Pour your water in first in the cup, okay? Pour it in first, and get your bag of cement, and it'll take the full bag, okay? Because it's six, uh, six tablespoons of water and 11 ounces of cement. And this cup is kind of kind of small for this much. You might want a bigger one. But you know what, if you pour the water in first, watch how easy this is. I've been playing with it, so I've been, I've been making cement stuff, so. But look, I don't know if you can see that, but that's how you start mixing it. But uh, you, you put the water in first and it's uh, no problem. Remember the last time I did it, it took me a little time. But this, it just puts in there and bam. There you go. And just make sure you get it all. Get it all mixed up good. Alright, so mixed up. Oh, and they, uh, that release too. Release uh, helps you, helps pop the mold, uh, helps pop the uh, cement part out of the mold a lot easier. Plus, it makes the cement part itself 
smooth. So it's nice and smooth. It's really slick, and uh, it helps it a lot. Uh, and um, you guys that have been making these, once you try it, you're gonna go, "Whoa, that is nice." And, you know, I get people asking me well, how my parts so smooth. Well, it's with this stuff. I'm telling you. Okay, so there you go. It's done. Now what you do is you come over, just pour it in there. And I push it down a little bit, and then uh, let's see. And you gotta shake it. Remember, shake it like this. Shake it until those little bubbles come to the top. Okay. So, Okay, and then I'll put that over there and we'll see how much we have left. See, I still got quite a bit left. So I bet this this is enough to make two small little pocket molds. So if you get two, you that cement bag is enough for uh, two small ones. And it is kind of messy, so you might want to do it outside. But actually, I'm getting pretty good at it. I'm not that messy anymore. But I'd still say do it outside so your mom or your wife doesn't chop your head off okay and they will <laughs> just kidding <laughs> just kidding okay so anyways do the same thing shake it up keep it all shaking up I'll see, I'll see if I get a bubble I got no. they're coming up and they're popping so that's good news so the bubbles come up and then you won't have a bu you won't have a little air pocket or a hole in your cement not that it matters it's cement right you like cement with a little bit of cracks and stuff. That's makes cement. Right? So, anyways, we're gonna sit there. And this time, what time is it? It's 3:49. So, in an hour, I'm gonna come back and demold them. So, we're gonna we're gonna leave these sit here, and then I'll be back later, and we'll demold them and see how it is. Okay? And I'll show you how good it is. I see you got cement on my paper. Okay? All right. I'll be back in uh, in an hour. So, 4 4:49. Okay. Okay, I'm back. It's exactly 4:49, so it's one hour after I got back uh, since uh, since I've been on. That is okay. So they actually look they look a little they look they look wet. They feel a little moisture. I mean, they're not going to be totally dried up like cement for probably I don't know probably overnight at least. Um, but uh, they say an uh, hour, so 15 minutes to kick and an hour. So here we go. So you just, you just, oh, there it goes. So it is a little wet still, but it's very nice. Very nice. And it's nice and smooth, that's what I'm saying. So if you can feel this, it's really, really nice and smooth. I don't know, can you hear that? Very nice, but it's nice and smooth. But anyways, there you go. Pull it out after an hour. now. I would recommend maybe keeping it in there a little bit longer. I kind of wait until I start seeing little dry spots on the edges. Now there's no dry spot, so I can I can tell the edges are really kind of brittle still. But you know I pulled it and it's fine. For my so this one this one too this one looks a little actually this one looks a little drier, but it was the first one I poured. But uh, anyways they're in there like that and you just pour them and uh, oh. Here, let's look at this one. Now, did you see that? Look at the cleanup. Look at this. You can probably just wipe that stuff out. Now, if anybody that knows about making these, if you don't, you know you have to clean these out. If you, but using this new mixture that I got, pops out. Everything's clean. Now, look at this. All I have to do is put the release in again, and I'm done. There's no cleaning the cement off that attacks the sides because the cement wants to attack whatever it's sitting in. And uh, if you if you used cement before, you know this. But uh, but with the release, the mold release I use, it doesn't attack the plastic at all. Now I've used silicone, I've used uh, a bunch of stuff to put on there, and it still attacks the foam. This is the first time I got release that doesn't attack. And and the um, and it uh, it releases it nice and it makes it smooth <laughs> I mean it makes it pretty smooth I mean if you don't you I mean you'll know you use uh, release and you, you'll feel it and, it and it definitely doesn't feel smooth like this this is really nice okay so anyways let's, let's go ahead oh this one just 
just popped right out that time. So that's easier. So there, it comes right out. There you go. That's what it looks like. Now I got a little slope curve. And look how clean that is. There's no, uh, definitely no cleanup on that one. <laughs> I don't even have to rub that one. That one's ready to go. All I do is rub that sucker down again with a release. Now remember, every time you pour cement in, you want to re-rub it down with the uh, mold release. And that, and, and that means any mold release. Even if you don't buy my mold release, whatever mold release you're using, always put it on before you pour the cement in, okay? And, and like I said, if you use another release that doesn't get the cement off and the cement actually puts a glaze on the plastic, just take some denature alcohol and rub it with a napkin and just keep rubbing it until it comes off and it'll come off. But I'm telling you right now, you want mold release that you just wipe clean and it's ready to go again because now you're ready. Now there's no high end, hard scrubbing because when that cement attacks the plastic, it's a lot harder to take off. But uh, see how easy that was? That's two. I just did two in front of you. Took about an hour. But like I said, I'd probably wait until the, it starts getting a little bit uh, a dry look to it before you pop them out. And that, that'll make the edges a lot tougher. And you know, that's just better. But uh, this too, it's smooth. <laughs> and I do, I get a lot of people saying, man, how do you make your uh, obstacles so smooth? And, and this is the secret right here. Boom. This stuff works great. <laughs> So, uh, anyhow, uh, one bag of uh, the cement did the two small ones, like I said. I knew I knew uh, one bag could do two. So one bag does uh, actually two of these obstacles. That isn't bad. It's pretty nice. Probably the smallest ones. But, uh, hey, one bag. Pretty cool. Okay, so you can go to my website and uh, get some uh, mold release. Uh, it goes for $1.79. Um, $1.79 on the website. Okay? Remember, you just shake it up before you use it. And then it doesn't take that much to, uh, to do one of these pocket molds for sure. Okay? Alright, well good luck to you. And I have more product coming. So keep your eyes open.